So today we are doing a review of the 2021 Fish Pro that we've had for about, what is it, three months now? We've had it for about three months now. We've taken it out for a few rides. We've gone fishing on it. We've just spun around on it. It's an absolutely awesome machine, but there are definitely pros and cons about it. So one of the cool things is about it is we also have the 2019 Fish Pro um, and the 2021 came with some upgrades. So we didn't end up getting the um, stereo system on this one, but we did have it on the 2019. However, Sea-Doo came with some flaws when we got our machines and we had problems with the wiring in both of the Garmin's and also the wiring in the stereo system in our 2019. So neither one of those worked at the time and actually our Garmin system does not currently work on our brand new 2021 Fish Bro. Um, I don't know if they just didn't hook it up at factory. I'm waiting on um, a local dealer to figure out what the issue is. So, um, you wanna come around here. So one of the new things of the 2021 is the IDF system in these things. So what this is, is if basically if you go through like weeds or rocks or anything like that, it's going to, um, obviously you don't want that sucked up into the engine. So the engine is actually going to be able to release that stuff with this IDF F button. So all you have to do is when you go through those weeds or rocks or anything, you're gonna press this button right here, IDF, and then squeeze the, so you're gonna start by squeezing the brake lever, maintain the brake lever engaged, and then squeeze the throttle and have that IDF engaged and it will um, release all of that stuff from your intake system. So that's one of the new things of the 2021 that's super awesome. Um, like I said, our Garmin is not hooked up right now because um, the wiring system, so that's one of the cons that I would say about the uh, Fish Pro in general. One of the new things that came with the 2021 is this sweet cup holder. And let me tell you, it is amazing. <laughs> Definitely handy. And you can also, this is kind of cool, so um, you take off this fishing rod holder. Hold on one second. So you take off this fishing rod holder and the cup holder and you can actually replace, change the sides that they're on. No, whatever, you can do that, I promise. <laughs> so it's got two compartments on it. One of them is right here and it's like, um, it's a smaller one so it's easy access. So you have room for stuff right here and then it's got this sealed one where you can put any electronics so i got my phone in there um slip it shut and then it's waterproof and then it also has this bigger compartment it's tons of room we got some stuff in there right now but um towels all of our diving gear goes in there and then the foot wells also are large enough to hold diving gear and stuff even with two people here at once um, and then you have the fire extinguisher up top. So when we were just shooting our video, we met these two older guys, probably in their late 50s, maybe early 60s even, and um, they didn't want to be on camera. They rolled up to the beach that we were just making this video on about our fish pros, and they had two fish pros filled with camping gear, and they asked where they could go camping. So we suggested that they go to Peanut Island, which is nearby, with their two Sea-Doo Fish Pros and hopped on them and drove all the way here from Missouri area and were on their way to the Bahamas. So they have all their Fish Pros packed up, ready to go. They got all their gear, camping stuff, and no extra tank of gas. So I'm not sure how they're gonna make it all the way there, but they are planning on going to the Bahamas. So we let them know um, that they had to take COVID tests, which they were not aware of. So I'm not sure what they're gonna do there, but super awesome that these two guys were gonna take their fish pros in March all the way to the Bahamas from Florida. They said they're gonna try to go out from Miami, which is super crazy because it's been uh, really windy lately. Like all week it's been like 20 to 25 mile per hour winds. And today even it's like 15 mile per hour winds, which I'm sure you guys are hearing right now um, and probably not really able to hear me, but super cool that those guys were gonna do that. Um, I definitely want to try that someday. 
so hopefully they're safe on that trip. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Going around to the back here, the cooler comes with four fishing rod holders and then one up in the front here. So you have a total of five fishing rod holders on this uh, Fish Pro. And this is everything that it comes with standard. We did not add anything. So then the other nice thing about this is the size of the platform. So the platform even with the cooler is big enough to where you can stand on it, swim off of it, and even sit on the cooler if you want and fish off of it. And then you have this uh, step stool ladder right here to uh, get out of the water. The cooler can come off, it just snaps off, and you can actually even put it on the front half or the back half. The cooler is really nice size and it also has a um, ruler right on it for measuring your fish. So when you catch a fish, it's got the ruler right on the cooler. Measure them out, see if there's good size. If they are, throw them in that cooler. If they aren't, back in the water. The gunwells are extra high on the fish pros, which is super nice uh, for two reasons. It makes it harder to tip over. And also you can put your feet on there when you're fishing. Like so. <laughs> fishing and you can put your feet up here so if you catch a big one you have the step stool what do you what do you want to call it you got the rail, rail to get that mm. <laughs> to get that mm. <laughs> mm, i said oh mm. it also has a sport mode that is able to make this thing go from zero to 50 in seconds one of the nice things about the fish pro is that Unlike most other jet skis, it has a reverse. So this thing can actually go in reverse, which is amazing when you get stuck in a sticky situation. However, we put in three people on it and it basically it just like sinks down in the water. So probably two is the best. Um, it comfortably uh, fishes two people. If you guys have a Fish Pro or if you're interested in a Fish Pro, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think of it. Let us know any issues that you've had with it. Obviously, we just had that wiring issue, but it was kind of a big one because we are still yet to use, be able to, we are still yet to be able to use our Garmin on the 2021 Fish Pro and it's been three months and they haven't been able to fix it. So let me know if you have any issues. So all in all, this machine, uh, both of them, either the 19 and the 2021 are both awesome machines. So these machines are an absolute blast. We're gonna go take them out. We'll see you guys on the next one.